Hello guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Amanda and we are here with another painting by numbers. I'm so excited for this one although I really wanted this one to be absolutely amazing um, but I ended up rushing it again. I You need to do painting by numbers slowly like you cannot do this in four hours and make it look decent. Like it looks okay but um, it needs to be done really slowly with the right size of brush, otherwise it's not going to be good at all. Um, and also I realised that even though um, in the past working from shadows to light has really worked for me um, in the past, it did not work with this one because I literally just covered up all these black lines and didn't know where they were supposed to go. And then um, there was white lines as well that I ended up going over. So I probably should have made sure that all of that was in. Um, even maybe using masking fluid might be a good idea for this kind of stuff because it's so intricate and so close together that it just doesn't really work very well. Sorry about my head, by the way. <laughs> I'm trying to see the the numbers. That's another reason why um, I go a little bit faster and it's a little bit more messy is because I'm so far away because I'm trying to get a good shot for you guys that it tends to just not be good. But this one is a train and I really wanted to make this one good because my son really likes transport and when we do his room I do want to put paintings up in his walls and I think that painting by numbers is just the best way to get a really cheap artwork that is like original. It's not like original because obviously somebody else has drawn it out for you but like it's it's paint on the canvas it's not just a print um and it's cheap so you also get the enjoyment of doing something that's your own or yourself by yourself and um you get the result at the end as well so uh i do want to do more of these but i just want to learn from my mistakes rather than not learning from them and take my time and use smaller brushes it's just that acrylic is so hard to use for me i find it difficult to use acrylic paint um, so that's why I have a difficult time um, doing it but I don't know it's fun anyway I really enjoy it and if you guys want to do it then you don't need to be a, a master at painting because I literally have only used acrylic twice in my life apart from the painting by numbers ones so you can do it too and probably make it look much better than I um, but it is fun to see the shapes coming together and to watch it come to life it's really it's really fun that way and <clears throat> you just need to take your time and use the right brush that is very important to use the right brush um, they do come with three different sizes I think I used all three of them but I mainly switched to my Seagate brush because I really like that brush it's 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 medium sized but the point is really small and it it goes to a nice point and it, you can get really thick lines with it as well so yeah I used that but I had fun I guess um, if you guys want to see more of these I I never know what to talk about in them I talk about the the art the art that I'm doing for a little bit and then I just go off on a tangent so I don't know if they're actually good videos to watch I don't know if you guys enjoy them but um, it seems that in my YouTube algorithms that a lot of people uh, analytics sorry a lot of people are searching for um, painting by numbers um, but I don't know what kind of format people like them in. Maybe I should look at other YouTube videos and see how they're doing them. Um, but I just speed it up and then talk over it. That's pretty much what I did. Um, for the grass, I kind of impro improvised a lot because I covered a lot of the numbers that were supposed to be. So I just put in a lot of greens and uh, dabbed it around a bit. And then for the sky, there was a lot of light patches and clouds and stuff. Um... I think that for the sky, uh, I should have did it very close together. Acrylic dries so fast that it's really hard to blend with acrylic. So, um, especially since I did one colour and then went through it again and did another colour and so on and so forth. If I did um, it from light, right to left or left to right, then 
I could have maybe blended it a little bit better, but yeah, it was it was it was difficult. I'm not gonna lie, it was quite hard, but and it doesn't look straight or good. <laughs> it kind of just looks like a different style, like impressionism or something. Whereas on the box, it looks like a train and it looks it's got straight edges and stuff. I didn't really do that much that way, but. I enjoyed it nonetheless. I just tried to improvise and use my artistic ability to to try and make it look like a train at least. Um, when I lost all the numbers, I didn't know what colour I was supposed to put there. Obviously you can look at the box. I didn't really look at the box that much except from when I tried to see what the train should have looked like because uh, it was on the floor and I didn't have any room to prop it up or anything but if you prop up the the box that shows you the finished piece on there then you might have a better time of like painting it because if you put your artistic abilities to use then you can just copy the the box rather than relying solely on, on the numbers. Sorry I hiccuped then. <laughs> But yeah, the, uh, this is one of the reasons why I haven't been doing a much of other kind of videos. I really want to change my whole channel style. I really want to post videos every single day of the week, but I don't want them to be rushed. I don't want them to be half half arsed basically. I want them to be decent quality and I also want them to be interesting to watch instead of just me drawing and then sticking it up there so I need to brainstorm and see how I'm gonna make my channel better um so that's why I've kind of been off the the grid a little bit of recording videos so if you watch any of my other videos then I'm really sorry that I have been absent but I'm trying to come back and uh, get the ball rolling again. If you have any ideas of what you want to see and the way that you like to see these painting by numbers videos then please do tell in the comments below. I would really like to to hear that and tell me if you've tried painting by numbers. If you have then please uh, message me or tag me on Twitter with a picture of what you've done as well. I really like to see other people's painting by numbers. Um, my friend Laurie <coughs> who's a really good supporter of all my channels um, she has done a few painting by numbers and they are really gorgeous. Uh, she spent hours and hours on them though, like literally 20, 40, 60 plus hours on them. And I spend about four hours on mine. It's weird because every single piece of art I do, no matter what it is, it always comes down to maybe six hours or less. Um, I never spend any more on it than that. And I've tried to spend more time on my art than that, but a lot of it just comes down to the fact that I can't put any more layers on or I just feel like it's finished and it's time to move on. Um, but I should really try and space out my art as much as possible to see if I can make it much better because if there's potential there to spend that much time on art then maybe it might come out better if I don't rush it. I don't know. We will see. We will see. So yeah, I'm just trying to... Trying to be a good YouTuber and <laughs> I feel like it's not coming out the way that I want it to recently which is fine uh it just strive it, it makes you strive to be better um I always trying to I always try to critique myself quite harshly so that I can improve um so people that say oh you shouldn't be that hard on yourself um well I should be because that's the way that I improve so yeah it's good to critique yourself. Obviously, it's not good to like always feel bad about yourself as long as you're happy with some of the outcome. But um, if you if you're not hard on yourself sometimes, then it just will stay at the same, and you won't be happy with what you are producing. So that's one reason why I like to mix it up and and try and get better and stuff. So yeah, uh, that was a long. 10 minutes. <laughs> it's, it's hard to talk for 10 minutes when you don't have anything to talk about really. 
Um, so I am going to end this video about here. Please remember to uh, go down below and check out all the links. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and uh, come and join the Discord as well. And uh, remember and comment, like and subscribe to this channel and on this video and um, hit the notification bell so you get notified of all the videos I post as well as live streams which are on Tuesdays at 9pm. Here are some videos that I uh, want you guys to check out if you want to go and click on all of them along with my other channels and uh, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye!